What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we hit a little bit of a roadblock. We had a big trip planned, Devin and I, and she took time off of work. We had the dogs boarded and lined up for like four or five nights while we were going to be gone to New Orleans. We were going to go see Dave Chappelle and Joe Rogan, as well as just uh, visit the city. It's been a while since we've been to New Orleans. Obviously, hurricane came through. Rogan also got caught with the COVID, and so... Plans had changed. Much love to everybody out there in the area. It sounds like some of y'all are just getting power back. Hopefully everyone's doing all right out there. And with that, we had already spent the money on the dogs being boarded. Devin take the time off work. We really wanted to make the most of this, essentially five days that we had over Labor Day weekend and, and go travel somewhere. And so what we did is we put together a last minute trip down south to do a southern tour of Texas, essentially. We wanted to fish some big lakes, visit some new private water fishing properties we hadn't fished in the state, as well as hit the coast. And so we actually get on some of the biggest fish in a long time in today's video. It's jam packed, tons of B-roll. I think you're absolutely gonna love it. Uh, as as well as catch a giant on Lake Austin, there's a huge lack of context because we're just taking this trip day by day, just kind of piecing it together like, hey, should we stay at this hotel tonight? Should we do this? What should we do? And so we're kind of all over the place, but if you stick with it, you get to enjoy some amazing fishing and actually one of the best fishing trips we've ever taken. And so with that, we're gonna get right into it. We start things off right here in the garage in Dallas-Fort Worth as I try and fix our motor mount to our bass boat because the thing keeps shifting and it's not good for the motor while we're driving. So we take care of that and then we go down and catch some big fish. New PBs are to come in these next couple episodes on this Southern Texas tour. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications if you're not already, but we're just gonna jump right into it y'all. and. Uh, uh, please enjoy the time spent down south with us in Texas on today's video. We'll see you there. Oh my God, that's a really good one. Oh my God. Hooked up y'all big reds out here in Corpus Christi. Let's go. Can hardly keep these things out of the boat. Oh my gosh. This is insane, dude. <laughs> In today's episode, we are going to be touring Southern Texas, targeting big fish, and it all starts here. Okay, so the motor mount was crooked, then we chopped it down. Now we got a flat surface again, but we need to drill a hole. All right, I think I've got some drill bits here that'll run through metal. I'm gonna start with a small little dude. Now I'm gonna hit it with this guy to get the bolt through and I'll show you the finished product. We'll call it the pilot hole. We got that drilled. Might be a little off center, but the idea is that this is gonna go right here and then it's not gonna shift anymore and the motor's gonna stay straight. So now we need to get to work with this guy, I believe. A little off center. Barely had enough time to put this thing on the charger. Come on, you can do it. Gosh dang it. Oh, maybe I can just like, can I screw it through? Oh, okay, well, that'll do. Cool, should be extra tight. I think this thing is like about to be perfect. No way. No more shifting, no more brokenness. I'll take it. Welcome back to Austin, y'all. Let's go fishing. You know what? I just cast it over y'all. I said, what was that? Something like you, a monkey just yeah, jumped just, in the back. <laughs> I, what, what I was saw it? was the, the line and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> so, did you saw this something jump in the water like a monkey? <laughs> what was it? Was it green or what? Wolf or bass? Bass, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw a couple jumping right here, so I'm like, okay, really? good. I'll cast along the dock these and are, then Are you sure these are bass? Uh, not these probably. Not these, but the they but along the dock, along the dock they were they'll bass. hang out. Well, you want to pull the lines out? no, I'm good. We're gonna go. We'll go around. No, no, no. I nope. Y'all good? Yep. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Okay. Oh, oh, he came up and ate it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was like a two pounder. He was just right here at the surface. He was just eating it. Saucy swim. 
swimmer, crack and crawl, probably the best. No yeah, way. Yeah. No way. Literally. Oh, you did. You got a good okay. one, too. Okay, it's, um, I, it could be good. Okay, I don't know. Left handed reel. I know. Left handed reel. You're just gonna have to flip it up. You're good. Oh, it's a good one. Oh my god, that's a really good one. That's Here, really let, me get, one. let oh me get this gosh, net. Let me get this net. Let me get this net. Yeah, that's, okay. a, that's a good little Austin fishing. That's a nice little Austin fishing. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Nope. Oh my gosh. Devin, that's like PB possibly. Oh, get, oh get my fish. god. Oh my god. That's a giant. Baby. That's a certified giant. I just got him out of there. Oh my gosh, we're in the rocks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is going on? Welcome oh to Austin. God. Hey, trim the motor up. Uh, I got it. Holy okay. cow. Yeah, look at that belly. Wow. Whole... Oh my god. What on earth just happened? Oh, when you're ready. All good. Come on. Oh, holding at a six point. Two six. Six and a quarter. Oh, man, I was. <laughs> it's heavy. Little bitty mouth for such a big fish. She has such a huge belly. We're gonna get her in the live well. I'm gonna just tell you guys what the heck just happened. <laughs> Holy smokes, y'all. Just got her in the live well. Gonna let her chill out for a bit before we get a few pictures. It has been a bit of a grind this morning. We've been out here for about three hours now, fishing some deeper docks, really changing up the different things. Weston's been throwing a jig, I've been throwing a Texas rig, a dabbling into the swim baits, and we just made the trek to a different area of the lake, and what do you know, I pick up, even though it's on a left-handed reel, the saucy swimmer on Weston's reel. I don't fish left-handed, and you can obviously see why that catch, I feel so lucky to have gotten. Trolling motor. Our trolling motor is like, we just did half know. a 360. <laughs> What's <Yeah>. going on? <laughs> what are you doing, Garmin? <laughs> Dude has a mind of its own. I'm not even going to lie. But absolutely crazy. I don't fish left handed. Your hook set was like, you just leaned in. Like, well, you, you look so awkward. Oh my God, it was. And then I was like, you know what? I went ahead and I like gave it another pretty good hook set because I was like, there, this fish is not pinned. Well, Weston came in clutch with the net because we didn't even have it out. I had to really just sit there and kind of let that fish play, run around the boat a little bit more while Weston got that net out. Thank goodness, because as soon as we got it in the net, I go grab it, that hook just came straight out. So thankfully, I kept tension on that line and we secured the first giant of the trip. Literally first fish in the boat, guys. Motor's taking us into the rocks. What's going on? It's not even spot locked anymore. This thing is acting up. <laughs> We're literally spot locked in the safe zone because there's rocks on like one foot of water over here. So we gotta figure out what's going on with old Garmin. Yes. Yo, we made it to one of our favorite places in Austin, Cabo Bob's, and we're about to make our way to a new area of Texas we have literally never touched, never fished in our entire vlogging career. So let's go ahead, chow down, and see if we can make it out of this city. It is nuts because Texas, who is it, UT? UT? UT's playing Louisiana today, and I mean, it's tailgaters all across the city, cops all over the place patrolling, and it's just a madhouse. So we're gonna get out of Austin, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit another city here in just a minute. We'll catch you there. What's going on, y'all? We made it down to Corpus Christi, and we're actually gonna get out and target some new species for you guys. We're actually going out with Captain Josh. He's gonna tell you a little bit about what we've got going on. What are we after today, sir? So today we're going after redfish. There's gonna be some upper slot redfish that we'll, we'll let go and keep our slot redfish, and we'll go give it hell. Woo! So some big reds is what you guys have got to look forward to. We're launching out of Billings Bay, and I think it's gonna be an absolute blast, y'all. Stick around, let's go catch them. We barely got pulled down and Devin's already on the first red. Holy smokes. I'm trying to figure out this big camera right now. I mean, it is fogged up. Look at that. They ain't wanting to focus for nothing. It's a little humid out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it, turn that off. Oh, hey, hey, hey. 
There you go. Oh wow. Oh wow, there you are. <laughs> Look at that thing on the surface. <laughs> Dang, getting on bigs right as the sun rises. What on earth? Oh, he's taking you right back into the same spot. They're smart over here. Oh, oh they ain't playing. Yeah, he's coming this side, right? Yeah. He he's is. coming he's going left now. He's trying to oh, he's... Wow. There you go. There you are. Oh wow. That's that's not small right there. What are we looking at here? That's like <laughs> 20 to 28. There's the slot. Nice. Yeah. Oh, he's like right. He's right on it. When you pinch him, he's like he's like a quarter inch. Uh, so forty's gonna 28 be. Twenty eight and a half. So this one we're gonna have to let go. No okay. Worries. What do you mean with the tag? So, so yeah. if it's over twenty eight, you gotta let him go unless you have a tag. Got it. Got it. Got okay. it. So I've we'll, got a tag, all right? Yeah, but more legally. You need to catch it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, all of a sudden it decides it wants to go break you off on them power poles. That's a that's a good one. Wow. That's dope. There you go. There he goes. There he goes. All right, I'm on as soon as Devin releases hers. The problem is we keep catching them over 28 inches, so we actually need a small one. They're not afraid to come at you. Oh boy, he found the Merc. Come on. Good? This is this is like a this is a workout. You know, you, you thought you'd do okay when you catch a five pound bass. This thing don't mess around. Golly, doubled up. Okay. Alright, come on in, kid. Come on in. We got a slaughter. Alright, there we go. Order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be dope. Looking like two keepers in the boat, y'all. These guys are going on ice, huh? Yep. Woo! Might hit the frying pan. Yeah. All right, y'all. Hopefully the yeah, first of many. Let's get it. Wait until your rod goes like now. There you now. go. <laughs> that thing breached the surface like free willy. Ah! <laughs> I think you take the bronze medal on size so far. <laughs> All right, I think the lens is better. We're good now. It worked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hooked up y'all big reds out here in Corpus Christi, let's go. Can hardly keep these things out of the boat. Oh my gosh, this is insane, dude. <laughs> That's a tone right there. Woo! Won't even Woo! fit in the net. Won't even fit in the net. Wow. And then we forgot Devin's. We forgot Devin's got one on. Wow, that's a good one for the box. Dude, look at that fish you got. <laughs> Another one on ice, y'all. <laughs> it's a party out here. Yeah, that walking way this, way. Drag more this way. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Easy as it is. That's a food. 31. 31. 31 huh? Definitely the biggest. You want to hold him like that and then just give him some wiggles as he's in the water? Gotcha. You got to go. Into the depths. Jeez, big and <laughs> freaking giant. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Funny how you'll catch one big one and a small one. Oh, oh that broke me off. you got broke off. Oh, oh that just broke me off. Dang. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's a big one. I just saw him surface. Oh, yeah, he's not. Uh, he ain't that big. He, he ain't no 30, 40. Uh, and then we got the onlookers. Spot stealers. Yeah, we got. Yeah. There he is. Woo! Yep. We got like we got like ten boats eyeballing us on the spot, y'all. They know we're on them. This is insane. Holy cow! Got her out here. They fool you when they swim towards you. You think, ah, he doesn't feel that heavy. And then they get close to the boat and they start running like wild. So let's see what we got here. Yep. Yep. A little weight. Not bad at all. This is looking good. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. So, <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> He's gonna take us under the boat. Wow. These things are powerful. Ooh. Not your average large round bass. Not at all. Uh uh. All right. Here we go. He's still got some left in him. That might be exactly what we need. Here we go, Josh. No! <laughs> Sick. That's too much fun right there. Another one in the boat, y'all. Let's go. We changed the game up. Now we're uh, we're hunting some trout, and it looks like that's exactly what we got. Nice <laughs> <laughs> trout. Please, Keith. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they don't play. Let me get a little Holy bit. Holy moly! Got some salad in there. If we get a decent one, let's get something with you holding it. Yeah. If we get a decent one. Hey right, y'all, we yeah. caught our limit of redfish, and now we're going for trout. We're making our first few casts, and Devin already hooked up with the first. So these are speckled trout. She literally caught one in the first couple minutes. So we're gonna be working these things, see if we can put a few in the boat. I believe the keeper size here is a uh, 17 to 23, so it's uh, the slot limit they call it. You can have five per person. So we're just gonna throw some out here, see if we can put a few in the boat to close things out. You good? Get on there. No, you're good. Here. Oh, here. You Wait, get I don't know. You what catch him. You catch Just him. Real. Just real. Big trout on. Okay, that's what oh, we're no. talking about. Oh, no, I think I fucked up. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Crank it in. Crank it in. Crank it in. Is he swimming already? Yeah. I don't know if he's on. Boat flips only. Just like you would do with bass. Oh, oh my god. Where are you at? Coming up. Oh, oh wow. my god, big trout. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Big trout. Oh, wow. Alright, girl. Hey, so for, a, so for a trout, that one's pretty sizable, I think. Look at that, dude. Very beautiful fish. Woo! That's sick. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're working these a little bit differently, as I mentioned a moment ago. Captain Josh is saying what you want to do is give these things three aggressive pops, right? This is live bait. We're throwing those croakers out there, and they make this weird, uh, I guess you would call it a croaking sound, specifically right after you pop them, and that's what attracts the trout, and they're going to come in and hammer it. So it's a little bit different than targeting the redfish, where you're just literally playing a waiting game. Oh, hell yeah, that's exactly what I needed. <laughs> so it's a little bit different than the reds, where we would just be sitting and waiting on that, almost like a Carolina rig. This is more weightless, and we're just tying the live bait straight to it. After three pops, give it about eight seconds, reel in that slack, expect to hit, and if not, pop it again. Just waiting for a little bop. Oh, then you said the hook. Yeah. There he is. There he is. Oh, oh, he came off. Wow. He hit me with a jump and he said, peace. That more pretty. <laughs> Just got back to Billings Bait Stand after one heck of a day on the water here with Weston. We got a three-man limit of redfish today, tagging one oversize. We probably released, 
another six to eight oversized redfish today. Did a little trout fishing. We ended up getting one, one in the 17 to 23 inch slot. There's not many of the trout out there just due to our freeze. So we targeted redfish today and we met our goal. Very nice fishing with y'all today. And Dude, we, we appreciate it. No, seriously, that was a blast, man. I'm happy to have actually caught the first redfish I've ever landed. So that was intense. Devin, you caught some before, but you know, little tykes. These were <laughs> these were some big ones. Would you consider that big one a bull? Yes. The, okay, so we caught a bull red out here in Corpus Christi. If y'all want to check out Josh's service, he keeps his boat dialed and he'll put you on the bigs. It was an absolute blast. Check him out in the description. And now we're off to the next adventure. We'll catch y'all there. Oh my God. Oh, that's your biggest fish you've ever, you've ever caught. Biggest fish you've ever caught. Hands down, hands down. Just, just be easy with it. Just be easy. Do you feel like it's gonna break that?